A picture-perfect family is torn apart after Tyler finds a cache of disturbing images in his father's possession. He begins to suspect the man he trusts most in the world may be responsible for the murder of 13 girls 10 years prior. Hello guys, it's Samurai Lens, and today you're going to see the recap of a movie with a sequence of unexpected events. Take it as mind-blowing, not only that, but it's also based on a true story. Let's see the recap of the thriller and mystery movie, The Clove Hitch Killer. In his father's belongings, Tyler discovers a disturbing collection of photographs, which causes him mental distress. While resolving this issue, he discovers that a killer in the neighborhood, the town is still afraid of him, is actually his father. The Clove Hitch Killer is a thriller mystery movie released in 2008. The film begins in a Kentucky town where Pastor Randy is officiating at an annual memorial for some people. All of these women were murdered by a man named Clove Hitch Killer. These killings would have stopped 10 years ago, but their terror lives on in people's hearts even today. Don Burnside is a troop leader who teaches kids how to camp. His 16-year-old son, Tyler Burnside, is also in the group. Tyler takes Amy for a ride in his father's car one night. Amy discovers a picture of a semi-naked girl tied up with ropes under the car seat. Amy realizes the picture is of Tyler, so she distances herself from him. Tyler is curious as to where the photo came from. He infiltrates his father's warehouse. When he searches there, he finds shredded adult magazines and a picture of a woman with Nora's name written on it. All of this bothers him greatly. He approaches Amy and informs her of this, but she refuses to listen. Even his friends refuse to listen to him, but he's eager to tell someone about it all. He eventually finds Cassie and approaches her, and she tells him everything he needs to know about the Clove Hitch killer. Tyler does all of this in private, but his father keeps a close eye on him. Don discovers that Tyler is dating a girl and requests that Tyler bring the girl home for dinner. Cassie visits Tyler's house, and they both have a good time. When Cassie returns, she asks Tyler if he suspects his father of being the Clove Hitch killer. Cassie is joking, but Tyler tells her he suspects his father is a murderer, which Cassie denies. Cassie appears outside his window late at night and informs him that his words have been running through her mind. As she dug deeper, he began to see Tyler's point. When he goes into the basement of the house while his father is away, Tyler discovers a secret room containing much evidence of the Clove Hitch killer. When he sees all of this, he becomes very concerned. Don takes Tyler camping the next morning, where he informs him that he has discovered Tyler has gained access to a secret room beneath the house. But whatever he sees there, Don has nothing to do with it because it's all his disabled Uncle Rudy stuff. Don goes on to say that he has known him since childhood and has always been interested in such things. He went so far as to commit murder when he grew up. Uncle Rudy didn't have an accident, he attempted suicide. Don also informs Tyler that he's not a serial killer and that they should dispose of all the evidence in order to save the family. The next day, Cassie pays a visit to Tyler, where Billy misinterprets Cassie's photos from the Clove Hitch killer case. As a result, Tyler and Billy have a fight. Tyler discovers an apology note in his bedroom window the next day. Tyler then bids his family farewell at the station and boards a bus bound for his scholarship program. Don returns home with Cindy and Susie, telling Cindy to take Susie to her mother's house for a few days and he'll come get them. The following day, both mother and daughter leave, having left Don alone at home. He goes to the market first, then to the house of a woman he collided with. He takes some old stuff from the attic and changes his outfit to take some strange photos of himself. When the doorbell rings, Cassie enters and inquires about Tyler. Don inquires as to whether Tyler informed her that he had left for his scholarship program. She's taken aback. Don uses his camera to take a photograph of her. Following that, Cassie receives a phone call from her father and departs. It's a completely different Don. He goes to the woman's house and ties a clove hitch knot outside. The next day, he receives a voice message from his wife and there are numerous ropes and other items on the bed, indicating that he was the true murderer. He enters the woman's house through the basement with his equipment threatens her with a gun and tells her to be quiet. 
He then drags her into a room and ties her hands behind her back. Then we see Don tying up the woman like all the other victims and a shopper putting it on her face. He then uses his camera to photograph her. Meanwhile, Tyler walks in with a rifle and points it at Don. Don tells him that he shouldn't have come there. Tyler catches his father off guard. This is Tyler's part of the story. When Cassie writes a sorry note to Tyler, he tells her that she can't leave a note like that because it won't be good for him if his parents find out. She then takes Tyler to a rundown house and pleads with him to gather evidence against Tyler's father. But he insists that his father is not the murderer. He then tells her about the camp and tells her that his uncle, Rudy, was the murderer. But Cassie doesn't believe him. Cassie tells him that her mother was also murdered in the same house by the Clove Hitch killer when she was five years old. The killer locked her in the bathroom, but no one believed her. That's why she works at the home of a retired FBI agent who wrote an entire book about the Clove Hitch killer case in order to find the killer. The two then devised a plan to make Tyler vanish from the scene so they can observe his father's movements. Tyler does not apply for a scholarship and instead visits Cassie's house. They then follow Don in secret. Tyler sneaks into his house and witnesses his father's strange behavior with his own eyes. When he enters their bedroom, Don comes there. He seeks Cassie's assistance to avoid being seen by his father. So Cassie comes to see Don in order for Tyler to leave, and Tyler gets Cassie to get her out. Don visits this woman's home and ties a knot. Tyler follows him and sees the knot which convinces him that his father is the real murderer. The next day, Tyler appears with a rifle. Just as Don is about to murder the woman, Don is a skilled wordsmith who can entice anyone into his trap. Cassie comes to the woman's aid. Don distracts Tyler, steals his rifle, and then attempts to murder him. But Cassie arrives in time and hits Don in the head, knocking him unconscious. They both avoid involving the police, and take the unconscious Don to the forest where they set up camp and kill him. Don's death appears to be an accident and a memorial is held in his honor. That woman survives as well, but she should not have seen Don's face, so no clove hitch killer case is opened. Tyler has kept a big family secret hidden in his heart and no one knows who the clove hitch killer was. Thank you for watching guys, it was Samurai Lens and I am excited about the next movie recap video. Don't miss it. Subscribe and share it with your loved ones. See you next time.